hello everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl ray and welcome to another monthly budget setup or monthly overview or monthly reset whatever we want to call it out there in the budgeting world but guys today i will be going over me and my husband's monthly budget for the month of october i am going to go over with you guys our numbers our bills our income that we're using and how we're going to distribute that income in addition to that guys I am going to talk to you about the one question that I get every video. And we're going to also talk about my goals for the previous month. Did I hit them? How did I do? But guys, if you are interested in checking all of that out, then please keep watching. Happy Sunday, guys. I hope all is well. Look, guys, it's starting to get hot up under this light. I took off that sweater that I had on, but I appreciate you guys joining me for a Sunday video. Y'all know I don't do Sunday videos anymore. They used to do my um, Save Day Sundays, but I had to bring you guys my monthly um, budget video that I do every month. So um, what we're going to do, like I said, is go over the numbers and all the things. But before we get into all of that, if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Raquel, but you can call me Ray. On this channel, we do all things budgeting, cash stuffing, saving, and we pay off debt. If you're interested in that type of content, then please go ahead and hit the subscribe button to join the family because we would love to have you. And if you are a returning family member, hey guys, hey, and I want to give a big what's up to all my family channel members. Now guys, let's go ahead and get into this budget. Do y'all like my little, um, I don't know if you want to call this title page or whether, whatever have we, but I thought this was so cute. Just as an FYI, if y'all can't see it, this is actually a cat. It's the behind part of a cat. I am a cat lover. I love cats. I like dogs too, but I love cats. But anyway, let's go ahead and move to the actual monthly overview itself. And let me make sure I zoom you guys in so you can see it. Okay, guys, now that I have you zoomed in, let's go over the monthly overview. As you guys know, I love doing monthly overviews because it gives me an aerial shot of what's due for the month and when it's due. And in addition to that, I also have when we have money coming in, right? So let's go over this really quick. So let's do the income first. So I get paid this month on the 9th and the 23rd. My husband gets paid on the 11th and the 25th. In addition to that, guys, I pay myself from Shopify or my um, side hustle every Thursday. So we have Shopify on the 3rd, 10th, 17th, 24th, and 31st. And then I get paid from YouTube on the 22nd of the month. So next we have all of my bills. So on the 1st, the mortgage is due. On the 2nd, our natural gas bill is due. On the 3rd, we have cell phones and the water bill. On the 5th, which is Saturday, we have the electric bill and student loan number one. I did not mark this off, but on the 6th, our bed is due. The payment for our bed is due. And then on the 9th, we have Peacock and student loan number two. And then we have all the way down here on the 22nd, which is Netflix that is due. Now, most of you know, um, when it comes to our bills, I pay all of our bills out except for the Netflix between the first and the fifth of the month. And that is because we are one month ahead on our bills. So I am able to do that. Um, and trust me, it has been a game changer for me because I don't have to worry about going in on when these bills are due in order to make the payments or even to go in and make sure the payment if something was um, pulled electronically, make sure that it comes out. And honestly, there is only one bill on here that is pulled or actually two bills on here that is pulled electronically. And that is our cell phones and our Netflix. And you know what I don't have on here? I don't have our cable on here, the Internet. Give me one moment. Let me go back to when is you know what? I put it on here later, but I actually have it on the actual budget, but it's somewhere along in here. But me paying all of my bills during the first um, week or so of the month has been a game changer for me because that's a less stress that I have to worry about. And then Netflix comes out automatically. Now, the next thing I want to go over is my to-do list really quick. I have here that I need to pay my bills between the first and the fifth. Um, check 
Auto draft. Check auto draft. What is that for? Auto draft. Oh, I know what that's for, guys. Remember I told you guys that um, I was going to no longer have my um, Walmart credit card. They were going to, they severed their relationship with Capital One. So I have to pull and make sure that all of my um, business bills that I have are coming to my business debit card. That's what that's about. So, um, and then on the 16th and the 30th, I need to check my investment accounts. And then, guys, I did not do this last month. Actually, these two last month because I totally forgot. And that was called my mortgage company because I want to understand or make sure that my extra principal mortgage payments that me and my husband are paying every month are being applied correctly. Now, when I do go in and make the payment, um, you have a section where you will pay the monthly payment that's due. And then there's a section where you go in and you apply any principal only that you want to. I just want to make sure that my money is going to where it's supposed to go to. And I want to physically see it on paper showing me that my monthly payment is going down by a certain amount. So I still need to do that. And then I still have pool clothes, guys. I still haven't pulled my fall and winter clothes so that I can put up all of my spring and summer clothes. So that's something that I need to do. And then I have here the key for anything that is on this um, calendar. Green is Paydays, orange is Shopify, blue is YouTube, and pink is Bills. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and go to the monthly budget. Okay, guys, we are now on the monthly budget or monthly overview. What we are going to do is I am going to note the income that we are working with. In addition to that, I'm going to go over our bills and expenses, our cash envelopes, sinking funds, any debt we are paying, and whatever else will go to our savings, okay? Okay. So the first thing you want to do when you are doing a budget is note what your income is or what you're working with. As far as your income is concerned, we are going to be working with $4,175. And just as a FYI, me and my husband are, of course, a two income household and we use the zero based budgeting method. We like to do that to make sure we know where all of our money is going. Now, um, so... What we're going to do is take that and bring it down. We're working with $4,175. I'm going to just put it over on the actual side. So let's go ahead and talk about the bills that we have for the month of October. Guys, a lot of these, the majority of them, actually all of them, have not changed. Me and my husband try our best not to um, accumulate any more debt than we currently have or add any bills to what we uh, currently have, that is how we are able to stay on track with our budget, just as a FYI. Um, and we try to save up for everything that we can when we need to buy something. Say, for instance, we um, just purchased a new couch, but I use um, savings challenges in order to do that. And, um, well, we'll talk about it in a minute, but let's go ahead and go through my bills. The very first bill that we have is our mortgage. And our mortgage comes in at $1,462. Then we have the natural gas bill, guys. That came in this month at $56. And that did go up from the previous month by, I think it was 2 or $3. Then we have the electric bill. The electric bill came in at $113. It is down $2 from the previous month. Then we have the water bill. The water bill went up a little bit. It is at $71 last month, guys. It was at $68. So it went up by a couple dollars. Then we have the internet. Our internet came in at $85, so that is flat. That stays the same. It's actually $84.99. I always round up or down. Um, then we have our cell phones. Our cell phones are $60. Both of those are flat. Netflix went up. Did y'all's Netflix go up? My Netflix went up to $25. I was paying $22. It went up by $3. And then we have Peacock. That is still $6. I'm waiting for that to come up. If that goes up, I'm canceling it. And then the insurance, which is our monthly insurance, 
but those of you who follow me know that I now have a sinking fund for this because we are six months ahead on our car insurance premium. This is a sinking fund where now we are saving for the next six months, which is December through May or June. I forget. So what we're going to do now is add up all of the bills. They total $1,878. And what we're going to do is take the income that we have coming in, which is 4175, subtract our bills of 1,700, no, 1,878. That gives me $2,297 to work with. Next, what I want to do, guys, is my cash envelopes. We only have four cash envelopes. The first one is groceries. And we budget... I'm going to put actual because whatever we don't, we budget when it comes to our cash envelopes, we budget a certain amount and whatever amount we don't use, those go straight into savings challenges. So I'm going to put that as an actual for me. Then we have our dining out. Dining out, we're budgeting 160. Allowance, this is my allowance, guys. $60 a month. And then gas, 200 a month. So let's add up my variable expenses, 560, 160, and 200, $980, guys. So let's go ahead and put that down here. And you want to take what you had left over after your bills and expenses, which was 2297 Subtract my cash envelopes of 980. That gives me $1,317 to work with. The next thing we're going to do is go over my sinking funds. And we have quite a few sinking funds. Now, these sinking funds that I'm going to show you guys are my high priority sinking funds. I have revolving sinking funds and long term sinking funds. Those are not as important to me as my um, high priority sinking funds because these have a goal and they must be um, fully funded by that goal. If I didn't have, if I didn't do them that way, then when it came time for me to either pay that bill or fulfill that sinking fund, I would have to include it in my overall budget. And I don't like doing that. I like to have the money readily available, not budgeted. So that once it comes, I already have the money. So the first sinking fund we have is back to school. And this is for my grandson. And um, we are going to put it, be putting in $5. We're um, stuffing for next year. Then we have subscriptions. This one we're stuffing for next year as well because that one has been fully funded. We're going to stuff it with $44. Then we have Thanksgiving dinner. This one has not been fully funded yet it will be getting twenty dollars this month then we have escrow escrow is going to be getting 20 no forty dollars this month candle day has been fully funded it will be not it will not be getting any funds this month car tags has been fully funded but we are going to give it four dollars this month car insurance premium remember i told you guys we are six months ahead on our car insurance now i just leave it over here in bills and expenses as an a line item just in case for some reason we decide that we don't want to be six months anymore ahead on this bill i don't know why we would not want to be but just in case it will always be over here as a line item but over here it is $136 that we'll be putting in it this month because that is how much we pay every month for our car insurance. And then lastly, we have Christmas. And Christmas will be getting $20. 20, um, Christmas has been fully funded as well. We're working on next year. So let's go ahead and add these up. Okay, guys, for our... Did I add that right? Give me one second. 5, 4, 20, 40, 4, 136, and 20. This is not adding up to what I see what's in front of me. Give me one more 
give me one moment, 5 plus 4 plus 20, 40, 4, 136, and 20. Okay, we have $229. So what we want to do is take the 1317 subtract the 229 in sinking funds. That leaves me with $1,088 to work with. Next, we're going to go to debt, guys. Um, we're going to do the extra mortgage payment first. And me and my husband are so happy about this. $515. We never thought that we would be able to do this, but we've been doing it, guys. So the extra mortgage payment is $515. Um, and then we have student loan number one, which is $107. Student loan number two, which is $257. That's actually a parent plus loan. And then lastly, we have our bed, which I need to talk to my husband about. I want to get rid of this payment. It's $164. So let's add these up. $1,043. So we're going to take the 1088 minus the 1043. That leaves me with $45 to work with. And that $45, guys, is going to go into savings. So let's do 45. 45 minus 45 is zero. And guys, that is a zero-based budget. Now, before we get to if I hit my goals or not for the month of um, September, I want to go over really quick one question that I get every budget video. And that question... Um, it's worded differently each time, but it basically is the income that I show. Is that the only income that me and my husband has? No, this is not our total income. This is his contribution to the bills and my contribution to the bills. We add them up and this is, this is the amount that we get in order to make sure we um, fulfill our obligation of our monthly bills and expenses. So no, this is not all of what we have coming in for the month. And as you guys know, um, I get a YouTube paycheck. In addition to that, I have my, um, my shop. Now I do not, I would never ever include those in paying off these actual bills because first of all, um, YouTube is very inconsistent, right? And I cannot count on my shop doing good every month. So what I do with those funds and any extra money I have from my paycheck goes into savings, goes into my investments. But you guys see where the majority of my money goes to when it comes to my shop and YouTube. All I do is stuff it, y'all. It's either going to... Um, the taxes, which is at 30%, then it's going to um, supplies and all of that. I tithe with our money, and then the rest of it, I stuff into my savings challenges. And if you watch my savings challenge videos that I do every week, I am able to stuff a good amount of money. Thanks to you guys. Thank you so very much. So what I want to do now is go to my September goals to see how I did. Okay, guys, so these were my goals for September. Let's go through them really, really quick. The very first goal, and these are my business goals, was to do nine videos, two weekly, and one um, budget with me video. I actually did 10 videos, so yay me. I also have start fall challenge series, which I did. Thank you guys so much for watching my um, Simply Saving Monday's Fall Edition. We have two more to go. We will do one um, Monday and then we have one next week. And then I will be moving back to the challenges that I put on hold so that I can do my fall series. And then we have First Cousin video. First Cousins, I am so sorry. We are going to get to that video this month. Unfortunately, um, and I'm tired of saying that I've been busy, but I have been. But I haven't had time to even pull out all of my fall stuff so that I can decorate my house for fall. I told my first cousins that they were going to decorate my um, 
coffee bar with me, we are going to do that. I'm actually going to do the coffee bar. I'm going to do a little bit in the kitchen and I'm going to do our family room, but I will only be doing a video for the actual um, coffee bar, but that's coming. I have do shorts for non-fall challenges. So the non-fall challenges that I was talking about were my year-long savings challenges because if I would have put those on pause, I would have been way behind. And I am going to finish my year-long savings challenges. So what I did instead of doing shorts, I actually did um, double the stuffing videos. If you guys haven't seen the double the stuffing videos that I did on my year-long savings challenges, they are... Um, on my page. So make sure you check those out. So I would say I did meet that obligation because um, I did the double stuffing videos. Reduce items in my shop. I did do that. I actually put them to where you can't see them anymore, but now I need to um, physically remove them from my shop. And then I have um, revenue go of 1200 Guys, I'm just going to say because of you, I well exceeded that goal. Thank you guys very, very, very much. Then I have start on 2024 challenges. I've done that as well. I cannot wait until I can show you guys the video where I will, the, of the challenges I am going to be doing for 2024. And then I have IG do something. I did not do anything on IG. So we're just going to leave that alone. Then on a personal note, and this is actually um, can be business, but I put it under personal, save $800 to $1,000 in savings in Roth. I did do that. I just need to sit down and calculate what I did in savings challenges and what I put into my Roth IRA. I also have um, finish at least 400 in challenges. I'm quite sure I did that. And then work on 2025 goals. Can't wait to tell you guys about those, about my goals and the fact that I'm going to be changing the way that I do my sinking funds. I think it's going to work out a lot better for me the way I'm going to be doing them. And I'm saving up for the goals for 2025. Um, then I have exercise, walk at least 30 minutes a day, three to four times a week. Eh, did not get that. Daily affirmations and Bible, yes. Make small updates to the bathroom, no. Pull fall, winter clothes and decor. As I said in the beginning, when I was doing a budget, I still have not done that. I need to do that this month. But guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if you have your October budget ready to go. And if you are a Libra, Libra, let me know down in the comments when your birthday is so I can give you a shout out for the month of October. But guys, I hope to talk to you tomorrow during my Simply Saving Monday Fall Edition. Guys, have a great week. God bless. Bye, guys.